Alright, today I'd like to talk about DigiNets. DigiNets are um, sub-channels uh, that are broadcast sub-channels that are over the air. So usually, for example, a DigiNet will be Me TV, it will be Antenna TV, This TV, uh, Decades TV, those type of channels that are usually on a main network uh, broadcast channel, but as a sub-channel. Uh, these days there's many dish DigiNets. And uh, so if you watch TV with an antenna, in some cases you might have up to 80 channels, like in a really big city, you might have up to 80 channels of broadcast channels. Well, some of them might be repeats, of course, but they're there. Um, so I'd like to just go over uh, what the DigiNets are. And one thing is, if you've been watching TV with an antenna, uh, sometimes it makes it's a good practice to, from time to time, is to do a rescan because they might be extra DigiNet channels that are on your, your main uh, channel. For example, if you watch channel, say, 7.1 and 2, um, sometimes there's more channel, uh, or what happened to us a few years ago is channel 50 had ABC and CW, but then I did a rescan and they had Laugh and Escape as part of the over-the-air channel. So two extra channels, um, with my over-the-air broadcasting and uh, those channels are uh, standard definition but for example laugh shows old sitcoms that were uh, recorded in standard definition that's really not a big deal to me uh, it's free channels and i like the old classic tv and that's a big thing is when i think of a DigiNet, i'm thinking of those classic tv channels like cozy is one of them um, antenna tv um, P uh, PBS has, usually has like multiple DigiNets, like they'll have the main PBS channel, there'll be PBS World, there'll be PBS um, Kids, PBS Create tends to be a lot of, uh, a lot of the times it's on um, PBS, P uh, First Nation Experience is also usually in a lot of areas, and uh, Megahertz News is sometimes carried, or it's carried on one of those channels at, during certain times of the day. When you watch over-the-air television, sometimes there is more, uh, there's, in some areas you get just as much as, if not more, than basic cable. It's kind of laughable that in, for example, Montreal and Toronto, um, the local cable company will have a starter, uh, a starter pack for like $20, but yet when you watch TV with an antenna, you get, just as many, if not more, channels uh, when you're watching an antenna than a monthly um, ba uh, skinny basic cable package. So these channels, um, I, I tend to talk about satellite, uh, uh, free satellite TV a lot on my channel. So yes, a lot of these channels, if you're not able to get them in your area, for example, if you're not able to get Cozy, which is the uh, NBC's DigiNet for its classic TV channels, you can still get Cozy on KU Band on 105 West, uh, as long as you have a good dish in your right area. Um, you can also get uh, a lot of the rest of them are on C Band. So if you have a C Band satellite dish, which would be at least eight foot, but I've done a video where I could get C Band channels on a four foot dish, but at least an eight foot dish is uh, probably the best uh, place to go for those C-band channels. So those DigiNet channels like 101 West SE on one of the SES satellites has, um, uh, it has decades, heroes and icons. It has um, MeTV. It has, uh, there's another channel on Galaxy 19, 97 West on C-band where you'll need an eight foot dish to get it. Uh, it called AMG, Access Media Group, and they have tons of um, um, of old programming, old movies too. Um, so um, another one I forgot to mention on on 101 West is Movies, where it shows all these classic movies. Another one is Grit, uh, which shows uh, Walker, Texas Ranger. So really there's a ton, uh, without even having any subscription service, there's a ton of DigiNets. Now in Canada, we don't tend to have, uh, the broadcasters in Canada, tend, for the most part, most of them are owned by cable companies. There might be a few, and really a few, that are not owned by uh, big cable. 
or satellite. Like when I say cable, I mean a subscription service like cable or satellite. You know, the big Shaw, uh, Shaw Rogers, Bell, uh, Videotron. So yeah, all those big cable companies tend to own the broadcast channels. So in Canada, they haven't really gone um, to utilize the sub channels. Where with digital TV, digital over the air TV, ATSC, you can fit, there's been some stations that fit six, maybe seven channels in one, where it used to be just one analog channel. And with ATSC 3 coming out soon, um, which will allow the broadcasters to use H.264, probably going to use the H.265 uh, um, uh, encoding for the video. So they'll be able to get more data, more channels in there. 4K broadcast uh, stuff is probably on their horizon. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet. There's the hype there, but still I'm not seeing TVs coming out. The sign of, of that to come is when you start seeing TVs with ATSC 3 tuners built into them is when they'll roll that out. And it's still, they're starting to do that, but it's still, it's not really, I don't see that at this time. And people are going to say in the comments, well, ATSC is coming, but it's not being rolled out as well as the old digit when ATSC 1 came out. So bear that in mind. We'll, but we'll see what happens when that time comes. But for right now, there is lots of over-the-air channels and I, I don't see broadcast channels they've just updated to ATSC, th ATSC uh, 1 they're not gonna make all that stuff um, that they spent millions of dollars on upgrading so they can spend millions more because a lot of TV stations are struggling so I'm 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 skeptical about how um, the ATSC will roll out that being said um, there is lots of uh, good stuff out there and I, I, I actually enjoy this uh, uh, the fact that I get on um, just my antenna not my c-band setup or my ku band satellite setup on a cold winter day I can at least get about 14 to 15 16 channels that are free broadcast channels um, which is great I mean uh, for me that's all I need. And I think there's a lot of people in the same boat that I'm in where you don't want, I don't need a million channels. I just need some basic TV. You know, I'm going to watch TV maybe a, f a couple hours in the evening and that's it. I'm, I don't need a uh, hundred channels. I don't need to pay extra for sports channels. They really get you on sports channels for the sports fans. Uh, if you want to watch sports, you have to pay through the nose. I know sports fans, they tell me that they spend a few hundred dollars a month to get everything that they want, and that's uh, that's unfortunate for them. But for someone like me, I I don't really need that. If there's movies that come out, I buy it on I'll buy it on a DVD. I don't even have a Blu-ray player, but I'll buy it on DVD or I'll buy it on digital. On YouTube, for example, you can buy movies and then be able to watch them off the YouTube off YouTube whenever you want. That's kind of where I'm uh, going with now. I do that more than when I buy DVDs. All I really need is my YouTube uh, stuff that I enjoy watching mixed in with my over the air stuff and some of the satellite stuff is really what I've been watching like for the old uh, old movies, old TV shows. I, I enjoy that stuff. So the main broadcast channels are always been NBC, CBS, and ABC. Later on, Fox and CW came to be also big broadcast networks that's available in at least 95% of the U.S. Uh, households. Non-commercial public television networks, being PBS, have channels such as PBS Kids, Create World, Megahertz World, NHK World, First Nations Experience, France 24, Mind Media, Classic Art Showcase, DWTV, in the Minnesota channel. General entertainment networks are My Network TV, Me TV, Antenna TV, Escape, Grit, Laugh, This TV, Bounce TV, Ion Television, Comet, Get TV, Cubo, Heroes and Icons, Decades, Movies, Cozy, Quest, Start. TV, Buzzer TV, Charge TV, Retro TV, Light TV, The Country Network, AMG TV, Soul of the South Network, Heartland, The Family Channel. 
all available on also available over the air and on C band. Also, channels include the Ion Life, Justice Network, Revan TV, Livewell Network, TBD, the Action Channel, Biz TV, Weather Nation, Stadium, Newsmax, Tough TV, AccuWeather TV, U2 America, Untamed Sports TV, Doctor TV, Frost Great Outdoors, Pursuit Channel, Newsnet, and also includes some shopping channels such as QVC, HSN, QVC, Jewelry Channel, Evite, Shop TV, Beauty LC, and there also is many of the religious networks such as Daystar, Sun Life Broadcasting, Elites, TB, TBN, Smile of a Child, Juice TV, Hillsong Channel, 3ABM, Peace TV, Cornerstone Television, Dare to Dream, 3ABM, TCT, The Walk TV, God TV, WHTV, EWTN, Hope Channel, The Word Channel, TLN, Tivita Vision, Worship Network, and GLC, which most of those channels are available in KU, on KU Band on Galaxy 19. And also, if you want to watch DigiNets and say you are un un unable to put an aerial up, go to your local um, broadcast TV stations. If you're within the United States, you can go to their website, and sometimes you can even stream the DigiNet channel on your onto your computer system. They'll have it so it's available so for you to stream if you don't have an antenna. There's ways of getting that content without um, having an antenna. But if you're able to put it up an aerial, that really helps you. It saves on your saves on any uh, internet uh, downloading data as well. Uh, for example, I'll give you an example like Charge. For example, um, looking at a lot of the um, who owns that Sinclair Broadcasting. I know them because they own Ring of Honor, and I've watched Ring of Honor a lot through them. They'll have charge. They'll have um, TV for people who love the internet, um, and they have uh, Comet. And those channels, you can stream them. You can watch Comet on uh, on your computer. Now in Canada, it was geo blocked. If you want to go through a uh, proxy stuff and all that, you can go through that. I don't go. I don't even bother doing any of that stuff because I'm able to get a lot of that stuff on an aerial on an antenna. So I'm. I'm okay with that. that. And that's the nice thing about C-band satellite, KU-band satellite signals, and over-the-air TV signals. They do not stop at the border. So there's not much at this time that the cable companies can do that can prevent you from getting all these free channels. They'd like to be able, you know, to make it so that you couldn't get these channels and you'd have to pay, pay for it through them, but... Um, Free TV, I, I feel it should be a right. I feel like there should be more channels on KU Band Satellite. If anyone out there wants content for their KU Band Satellite channel, you can use the Happy Satellite Nerd channel. Just send me a, a comment uh, and let me know that it's going to be on. I'll be all thrilled about that. I think we should have a, a uh, digital channel on Galaxy 19 group of like tech channels i think that stuff that would be cool i've done reviews about these devices here where you can uh an, an extra set top box that will allow you to record uh your uh, your over the air channels with uh this uh one of these walmart pvr things that have like a little usb thing so you can turn your over the air channels into a pvr or you can get one of these hd home run devices i've done a video about that where you can it will allow you to stream device, uh, stream your over-the-air broadcast stuff to your phone, to your computer, to your TV, anything really. It's, it, these, these things are great. And this uh, this is what I just use for a set-top box PVR. Um, very inexpensive, but I think it was like 60, 70 bucks at uh, Walmart. Those are great options. So if you found this video interesting and you want to see more content like it, please give it a like and give uh, give this channel a subscribe, Auto Octane. And uh, thank you so much for uh, all the people out there that have been supporting this channel. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll hopefully I'll be doing more videos on this stuff.